The Mark of the Beast. Are you ready for it? Because it's going to be rolling out here sometime in the um, in the next between 2020 and 2020 uh, 30. It will be rolled out and it will be implemented all across the world. I do not know what the what role the United States is going to play in that, but um, I know that it's supposed to cover the entire Earth. If you've been paying attention to um, what's going on in the world, we got the wars going on. We got the rumors of wars. I mean, there's a lot of wars going on, and here and um, particularly now, at the beginning of two two thousand twenty. We all, uh, United States almost went to a war with a with another country, and you guys know what country that is. But I'm talking about the mark of the beast here. And by the way, if that war would have started, it would have been the World War Three. But the Lord wasn't letting it happen because uh, World War Three is already set up and ready to go. Uh, the Allies are already um, set up and ready to go. They're ready to um, pounce on. Israel, whenever the Lord allows it. See, nothing happens without his uh, permission. So uh, they can try to do whatever they want, but uh, it's going to all happen in God's timing. Back to the mark of the beast. That is a definite no-no. In order for you to say no to the mark of the beast, when your children are crying and they're hungry and you can't go out and buy gasoline, you can't pay your bills, you can't pay your rent, you can't work because... There's no more cash. It's going to be a cashless society at one point. You're going to need to trust in God, and you're going to need to believe in God. And now is the time to do it. I mean, you're going to have to start now. You're going to start reading your word, doing your research, turn off the TV. If you're going to watch something, go and do some research. Or use the Internet. They got YouTube and they got other resources out there that you can find out what's going on around the world. I mean, they got floods. I mean, every day. In a different part of the world, there's different floods. You can see the fires happening there in Canada, there in Australia, there um, in, in the UK. They're all over the world. It, see, the mainstream media is not going to tell you these things, but there's uh, there's channels on YouTube that will show you. You will not believe your eyes. To, there's holes opened up in the ground, swallowing cars, people, and uh, they're called sinkholes. There's landslides that are just ridiculous. They're just mount, whole entire mountains falling down. I mean, just literally sloughing off and falling down and covering up uh, landscapes and covering up people, washing their houses away. People, Thousands of people are losing their houses because of fires, because of floods. I mean, millions, millions of people. And you can go to Two Preachers. It's called Two Preachers. They're not, they don't preach a lot, but they, they show you what's going on around the world. That's, uh, that'll be in the description area. Just go to two, two Preachers and subscribe to that channel so that you can see for yourself what's going on every single day. Every day, they got it practically every day, they got a brand new video of what's going on around the world, all the tragedies, the volcanoes are ridiculous. It, it's, there's never been a hundred volcanoes going off at one time, and they're just coming up every single day. Every, every day, it seems to be a new volcano, and it doesn't, volcanoes don't even have to be mountains. Tornadoes, tornadoes. Ridiculous. So many tornadoes all across the world. I mean, it, snow, it snows in, in, in the desert now. I mean, and just too many things that are just, they, they, they chalk it up to this thing called climate change. That doesn't have anything to do with it. This is the end times. This is the last days. And even if it was that, then uh, the, the world is still going to end <laughs> because man is destroying it anyway. Uh, within the next 20 years, it'll be all over it anyway because man is just killing it off so but back to the um mark of the beast is that's the final test that'll be a christian final test is whether he chooses to take the mark of the beast and if you take it that's that you failed the test you're 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 done you're finished there's no they got pastors out there right now of mega churches in certain countries there's one in the Philippines, a pastor or bishop of, of a major church in the Philippines. Um, that is, he's got like almost a million members. He's told his members that it's okay to take the mark of the beast and that God will forgive them. That's horrific. Now, when it comes around time, these people are going to be deceived. And once you take the mark of the beast, 
That's your final test. That's that's judgment upon you. Let me tell you what happens when you take the mark of the beast. You become a essentially you become a slave. And we're already slaves anyway to the, the world systems. But you really become a slave when you get the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast uh, is is controlled by frequencies. Frequencies that come through the air, the same frequencies that come through your TV, the Internet, the radio, they control you, too. But the market of visa is a, a little bit more powerful and has more more control over you. Um, they use it through 5G. All these cell towers, towers that you see around, and they're putting up, keep continually putting up, they're disguising them and stuff like that. That's for the that's for the last that's for the end times that's for the last days. It's all controlled because you become a, a robot when you receive that. You're no longer your own because that that little chip what it does and some people will have it on their as a tattoo or they put have it on their forehead or you have it in their hand or whatever. It becomes a a a, a, a part of you. It actually grows into your muscles. And you try to get it out, you're not going to be able to get it out without laming yourself or, or you know, causing yourself some serious injury. They just don't come out. They grow into you just like a part of your body. If they're in there for a few days, good luck trying to get it out. You might have to cut off your hand in order to get that thing off of you. So, and then even the, even the Bible says, you know, pluck out your eyes. It's better to end, it, uh, end up uh, in heaven, go to heaven instead of going to hell if your eye is deceiving you. And the same with your the, your body parts, your limbs and such. So I know there's going to be a lot of people cutting off of their, their hands because that's where the chip will be in, inserted. Anyway, you'll be uh, when you receive the mark of the beast, you, you're condemned. You've just condemned yourself. You failed the test. That's the final test. That's the last test. And you will become anti-Christian. You will turn all the... every you, your, your mind is no longer yours. The chip controls your thinking, your thoughts, your minds, your emotions, and everything. And it goes across. Uh, the Antichrist can send out a message to everyone with the chip and make them all do the same thing at the same time. And if he says kill Christians, you're going to go after some Christians. Even though you might not have murder in your mind, murder in your heart, you will be anti-Christian, and you will turn every Christian, and including your family members, you will turn those in, all, turn them also to, in, to get rid of them, because that's what it is. It's an anti-Christ uh, chip. So you'll be remote controlled. And um, it also has a, a cyanide um, inside of it. Each uh, any when you get that chip, it, it, it has a little grain or, or two of cyanide in there, and all they if if you if you're wanted, or if they want to get rid of you, or you get too old, or whatever reason it doesn't matter what reason it is, they'll hit your your chip, and it will explode, and the cyanide will go out through out your entire body, and you'll die. So, you you don't have any control over your life anymore if you receive the mark of the beast because you will be just like an antichrist robot now <clears throat> the, 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 that chip will make you hate God it is an antichrist chip and antichrist hates God and so you will be a part of the hate God movement and you won't be able to control you um, uh, how you feel you 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 belong to the antichrist from now on if you take that trip and i'm sorry to say that you will be hell bound after that receiving the chip now that's not good news because a lot of people are going to be deceived and they're into thinking that they can get it and um, and just and go to heaven but that's that's the last straw that's the last test right there and you can't you're going to be hated and, you, and the bottom line is you're just going to have to trust. And you're going to have to believe in God. And now is the time to really dig in and get your, build your faith. Start thinking about the things he's done for you in the past. Write, all that, write them out on the list. You know, thinking about start thinking about the things he's done for you this morning, today, you know, to get you through the day. How he's helped you, how he's blessed you. You know, increase your faith, increase, increase your belief. You know, the trust, you're really going to have to trust in God. Otherwise, you can make a fatal mistake for you and in your entire family. You do not want to advise your entire family to get this chip, especially if you love them. Because you at one point, you won't be able to, we won't be able to buy and sell. 
uh, without this chip. And we're going to have to rely on God and him only. Well, that is a lot of Christians that, that are out here. So we can get together on that and do buying and selling amongst us. There's other ways to do it. You don't have to get that chip. But you got to believe and you got to trust in God and you got to start now. Do not wait. It's not a it's not really a, 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 you know, a funny matter, you know, and a lot of people think that, you know, hey, God, Christ ain't coming back for you a couple hundred years or a hundred years. That's not true. He's coming back here. I believe myself somewhere around 2030. I don't know exactly when. But um, I, that's what I believe, because I've been doing my research and he's going to set up for the millennium, millennial reign. And um, and that's when he's coming back. So he's coming back a lot sooner than a lot of people would would uh, uh, want to or choose to or have been taught to believe. So there's no excuses and there won't be any forgiveness for anyone who takes uh, the, the mark of the beast, because it is the ultimate betrayal of God. The, the one world government has already been set up. They're just waiting to implement it. Okay, they're waiting to, they're, they're setting it up uh, more and more gradually, but it's 90% all the way set up. Okay, and they could do it at any time that the Lord says, okay, go ahead, you guys have permission to do that. Cashless society, already set up. The Worldwide Monetary Fund, already set up. The One World Religion, um, in March of 2020, they're going to get together to, with the Pope um, and, uh, uh, and finalize it. And they're going to keep on trying to do more and more and more with every single um, church, every single bishop, every single uh, denomination, and every single religion. It doesn't matter what religion it is. They want, to put, they want them all to come together, and uh, they're doing that right now. And they could do it at any time they could re get ready. False prophet is alive, breathing and doing pretty well. He's really old, but you wouldn't notice. You wouldn't know he's really old by the way he walks around, the way he talks. He acts like he's the president of, of something. And a lot of people know him. Um, I've been, I, I admired him um, for a long time until I found out who he was and what he's doing. Yeah, he's breathing. He's alive. And I also believe that the Antichrist is alive, too. He's being molded and shaped to be the Antichrist himself. And he's walking around, too. They have a seat for him. I believe it's in Belgium to rule the world right over there. It says 666 on it. Nobody sits in it. It's just reserved for him. He'll be ruling out of um, 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 three places. Um, Germany, uh, I think Turkey. And um, one other place I can't, it escapes me, but he's, oh, oh that, that'll be Israel. That'll be Jerusalem. Okay. So he's going to have three world headquarters um, set up. And so, yeah, that's, it's real. And we're in the end times. These are the last days. It's just about over. Maybe we got a decade left, but we really need to push and press into God so that we can um, just really believe in him and really trust in him. And um, even if I'm wrong. Still, don't wait to, to get your relationship right with God. I mean, he's there for all the time with you, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's got angels with him, a cloud of witnesses. Two witnesses are coming, um, Elijah and um, Elijah is, is Elijah and Moses, right? Yeah. They'll be here um, probably in the middle of uh, um, the next decade. And um, they'll be ruled it. They'll be at the temple for three and a half years. And um, there'll be a lot of power distributed throughout the earth at that time. And that God will be using his remnant sons and daughters of God. Um, some of us, you know, to, to do things, powerful things around the world to collect a remnant. Then after that, I hate saying this, but all hell is going to break loose after they die because they will be killed at on the, on three and a half years. That's what uh, G Jesus walked the earth and taught. Well, he was here for 33 years, but for three and a half years, he taught us. He, in the New Testament, you can see all those teachings took him about three and a half years. That's the same amount of time it's going to take for the, um, the uh, two witnesses to do their ministry too. And they will be talking to the remnant. 
through. See, the Lord uses frequencies also, too. So um, if you're a part of the Elijah company or and there's a there's a the Moses company, you guys will be working and um, a lot of Christians will be working with the with these two witnesses and they'll be cl the cloud of witnesses themselves will be here also too and there's it's probably millions of the cloud of witnesses also too they're, they're counselors and they're helpers and stuff like that and so the seven powers of god the seven angels of god will be released at that time and um and i got a feeling that they're working in, in other people right now but they'll really be released at that time upon the remnant sons and daughters of God. And if you want to be a part of the remnant sons and daughters of God, which I wouldn't miss out on it. You know, I, that's, that's all I think about is, is being a part of the remnant sons and daughters of God and doing a lot of great things for, for the Lord. You know, I would start um, reading my Bible and talking to God all day long, as long as I can until I get tired and praying and worshiping. You'll get a lot more from God from worshiping than you'll get from, from doing anything else. But the bottom line is the mark of the beast is serious and it's going to, I don't know when it is going to come to the United States. I know they're going to do a big deal in India. It's already set up in India and ready to go. It, the people in India, they, 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 barely, they, they barely even use money. Their money is, doesn't have any value whatsoever. They just use the cards and stuff like that. And even in Africa, a lot of people, you know, this one world government thing, you know, a lot of people are just going to jump on board because they don't have homes. They don't they, they, can, they don't even eat every day, you know, and uh, one world government is going to give everybody every, exactly what they need and exactly what they want. It's a it's a great deception. So um, just don't be a part of it. Just be aware of it. You turn off the TV, turn off your your um, radios and. Um, do your own research of what's going on and listen to some good people. I got some um, that can teach you. I got some some links in the description area of some really good teachers. They're, they're end time teachers and they, they, they walk with the Lord. I mean, literally see them every single day. I mean, physically and do things for the Lord. And they're translated and they go to heaven. They, they, they've been to hell and done missions for God, you know, and they <laughs> nothing to joke about. When you hear, listen to these guys, you know that they're telling the truth. So, um, tap into the description area links. They'll be right there at the, underneath the prayer and, um, start researching and, uh, listen to something good every single day because the enemy has got us all, uh, has tried to trick us all and fool us all with all these, these crazy TV programs that don't make any sense. And then you watch these TV programs and at the end of the TV program, you're angry and you're fighting with your family or your, or your, or your spouse. But, um, that's what the enemy does. That's what he sows into the, the people because we don't know any better, you know? So it's time for us to, to wake up and get ready for these last days. And in Psalms 91 is our the decoration and praying. It's Psalms 91 is uh, what you're going to want to rely on here in the end times. It has, it has everything that, that a Christian, that anybody needs uh, to get through. Ready? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is the refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up with their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. 
He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for dying on the cross for me, Lord. Thank you for forgiving me of all of my sins. Father, I thank you for giving me a secret place that's inside of my mind and inside of my heart where I can go to you and the Most High God, because that's where you guys are. You guys are inside of me. And Father, I thank you that I am underneath your shadow, the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say to you, Father, that I will that uh, you are my refuge, and you are my fortress, and you are my God, and you I do trust. Father, I thank you for delivering me from all of my enemies and casting them down. I, I arrest them and cage every unclean spirit that affects me, my mind, my thinking, my thoughts, and my family, Lord. I cage them, and I ask warrior angels to arrest them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and stay far away from my family. And I thank you, Father, for delivering me from the noisome pests, Lord Jesus. Thank you for covering me with your feathers, Lord Jesus, because I am under your wings, and I know it, and I do trust you. Lord Jesus, because you are the truth and your word is the truth and you are my shield, Father. And I thank you for shielding me and being my weapon, Lord Jesus, weapon with of prayer, Lord Jesus, we we weapon of the word of God, Lord Jesus. And, um, and I thank you that my enemies, the terror by night and the arrow that flieth by day will fall, fall under my feet in the, in my, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that nothing Shall, will hurt me or come near, come near me, Father. Thank you for uh, destroying the pestilence that walketh in darkness that, that will affect me and my family, Lord. Thank you for um, destroying the destruction of, of the waster spirit that wasteth at noonday and all day long in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that a thousand missiles shall fall at my side and a th 10,000 missiles and devils shall fall at my right hand side. And they can't come near me in the mighty name of Jesus because I'm underneath your feathers, Lord Jesus Christ. You are my shield and you are my buckler, Lord Jesus. And I thank you that I will be able to see the reward of the wicked, Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to see them with my own eyes because they, they're not good. And I don't like them anyway, Father. And I thank you that, that you have made me, Lord, uh, that, uh, that, that you have, um, that, you, that the Lord, Lord, that you, Lord, are my refuge once again. And that the most high God is my habit and my habitation. And that no evil will come near me or no, none of these plagues that are going on in the world, growing on around the world, Lord Jesus, and the more and more plagues that are coming, that they can't come near my body. They can't come near my mind. They can't affect me, Lord Jesus. And I'm, I'm glad that you have given your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways, Father. And I thank you that they bear me up with their hands and they have bared me up with, and they will continue to bear me up with their hands, Lord Jesus. Even if I dash my my foot against a stone, Lord Jesus. And I thank you that I tread upon all of my enemies and they're under my feet and that they shall be found liars, Lord Jesus. And I shall trample upon their high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because you have set your love upon me and there, therefore you will deliver me. And I